This is Hair Tutorials with my hairstyle EXO. Before starting, I would really appreciate if you would subscribe my channel and click the thumbs up for this video. Thank you and welcome to the my channel. I hope you will like what you see. In this video, I will show you how to create a waterfall braid in two different ways. These dolls are easy to do and pretty quick, so they are great for your daily life. Let's get started. First, I press just a little bit water in my hair. Then, I take this section of my hair and separate it in three sections. I create a three strand waterfall braid. So, first, bring the right section over to the middle, then, left section over to the middle right over to the middle and leave the first waterfall section from the left then replace the section you left out with a new one right over add some hair then leave the waterfall section and replace it with a new one bring the strand over to the middle then right over middle add hair Leave the waterfall section, replace it, bring it over to the middle, right over, add some hair, and leave the waterfall section from the left. Replace the section you left out, bring it over, right over, add hair, leave the waterfall section, replace it, bring it over, right over, add hair, leave the waterfall section. Keep on repeating this same pattern until you reach the desired length. When the braid is on the right length, don't leave waterfall strands anymore. Braid few stitches more and secure the braid with an elastic. And the waterfall braid looks like this. Next. I create a 4 strand braid. If you cannot hold 4 strand at the same time, you can easily replace this braid with the French or a Dutch braid. Take a section of hair and separate it in 4 pieces. The second from the left is my middle strand. Start braiding by bringing hair under from the right side, then over to the middle, then left strand over and under to the middle. Bring the right strand under and add some hair. Then bring this same strand over to the middle strand. Bring the left strand over and under to the middle. Bring the right strand under and add some hair. Then right strand over to the middle. Left over, add some hair. Bring the left strand under to the middle. And then the right strand under and add some hair. Bring the right strand over to the middle, then left over, add hair. Now I add the waterfall braid into this four strand braid. Bring the left strand yet over to the middle strand. Keep on repeating this same pattern until you have braided all of your hair into this braid. If you haven't braided 4 star braid yet, I suggest you to watch my previous tutorial about only this braid. When I create the braid on the side, my hands won't be as much away from the braid. So in the original video, you can see much more better what I'm doing. Thank you. 
When you add the waterfall strands into this braid, make sure that they are tight enough so the braid won't be super loose. This braid will be loose anyway, so it just lasts a little bit longer when you don't do it more looser anymore. Pancake the braid if you like. As you can see, the right side of this braid is Dutch and it's much more easier to pancake. Left side of this braid is French and when you pancake, be careful not to pancake the strand you have added to the braid, only the stitches you had on your hand before you add the hair. Then keep on braiding until the end. You can see the pattern the best on this point of the video. Right under over to the middle, left over, under to the middle, and so go on. And here's the final look of the first style. Then let's get point to the way we have only the waterfall braid. The second look is create an updo. So take all of your hair and create a ponytail. You can place the bun wherever you like. I create it on the side so I can show you as well as I can how I do it. Then take your ponytail and separate it in two sections. I create a rope braid twist. So twist left, spin right. Twist left, spin right. Twist left, spin right. To create more volume for this updo, I pancake the stitches so the braid will look bigger. Then I keep on braiding until the end. At the end, create a loop of the rest of your hair. When you put the puppy pin through this loop, the braid will secure to the bun for sure. Then I spin the rope braid around the ponytail and secure the braid with puppy pins. If you want to create your bun very big, don't put too many puppy pins at first. Pull the hair more out of the bun on this point and add the puppy pins when you found the right shape. And here's the final look of the second style. Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully, I will see you soon again.